Nitrogen is a non-flammable gas and does not support combustion. Nitrogen finds several practical applications on board chemical tankers, inerting of cargo tanks, padding of the cargo tanks, drying of cargo tanks, clearing cargo lines where air cannot be used. An oxygen deficient atmosphere may develop in the vicinity of open hatches in some weather conditions, exceeding the design pressure of the tank. It would result in the tank structure being damaged, which, in turn, could lead to more disastrous consequences <coughs> of explosions, fire, and subsequent loss to life, ship, cargo, or environment. Padding carried out after completion of loading of low four-point cargoes may lead to blockage of pipe vents and valves. Exposure of personnel to liquids or gas. Overpressurization of tanks can also occur when line clearing activity by compressed gas or pigging is performed by the terminal or when loading from rail cars. The shore nitrogen may be supplied using a pipeline of various diameters and at various pressures. It is very important to understand the requirement of the vessel. Purging or padding operation causes a spill of the cargo on deck. Line clearing is carried out on completion of loading to clear the contents of the pipeline into the tank. This may be done using compressed nitrogen or a pig driven by nitrogen gas. An uncontrolled operation of introducing high pressure gas, which will expand once it enters the tank, can lead to the pressure inside the tank increasing beyond the permissible limits. As this operation needs to be carried out using high pressure gas to effectively clear the contents, there is a strong possibility of this pressure increase in the tank. Before any shore nitrogen is received on board, the entire procedure is required to be discussed with the shore representative and the details recorded. Following checks need to be carried out. To inspect and check conditions of PV valves and necessary valve positions checked. To keep close contact with shore during such operations. To hang up warning placards at oil tight hatch, manifold valve, to confirm pressure monitoring system is working. One of the most preferred ways of controlling the flow is by using a small diameter pipe. Pressure gauge should be fitted to monitor the pressure inside the tank. Tanks need to be padded on completion of loading. A preferred way would be to purge the tank before loading and then vent the nitrogen during loading. With finally leaving the tank with a positive pressure of nitrogen. The nitrogen is bubbled through the cargo to the vapor space on top. Keep the oil tank hatch open by about an inch to permit easy venting. Flow of nitrogen in the tank is controlled gradually and avoid any abrupt changes in flow, which will cause a large volume of air bubbles forming and possibly causing splash of cargo from the tank hatch. The oxygen content is to be monitored from a sample cock in the vent line. A tank entry procedure is required for all tanks previously inerted. Other sources of nitrogen on board are a nitrogen generator fitted on board, high purity nitrogen contained in bottles carried at a pressure of 200 bars. Some cargoes require a padding of nitrogen throughout the passage. 